You feel better? Yeah. Well, it's, I got peed out. And... You got peed out? Is that a thing? <laughs> yeah. I like it. It sounds fun. All right. Well, uh, what's up, everybody? Uh, it's me, your buttery voiced host, El Heftismo, coming at you at our very first podcast today. Uh, you can check out, well, obviously you found it. But if you want to check out more cool stuff that we're going to be pumping out, you like that, right? <laughs> you, well, you found it. Yeah, you found it, so you at least know where to start. Two tenths of the work done. <laughs> it's it's uh, HefTV. <laughs> HefTV.podbean.com. Or you can check out our YouTube channel at uh, YouTube.com forward slash Lord Hefty. Or just type HefTV into your friendly old YouTube search bar, and you can find me and this gentleman... Who I am joined with today. Who, who are you for everybody who has no idea? <laughs> for, for, for no one that's gotten my voice down yet. I am Elite Tumbles and I do stuff. I don't have a buttery voice, but I do like butter. I do enjoy butter. <laughs> right? But yes, absolutely. It's great in everything. Oh, yeah. Butter. <laughs> yes, you can't beat butter with butter. Butter smeared on top of butter. Oh, man. Yeah, it's, it's a fat kid's dream breakfast right there. I think I had one of those this morning. That sounds good. Yeah, so this is our first podcast, and we're just kind of throwing spaghetti at the wall and seeing what sticks today. Um, Tumbles, you had something interesting uh, happen to you yesterday. I what's, did. what's that on your hand? I did. Um, so. <laughs> those are two separate things. It's like. <laughs> This is something interesting happened yesterday to you, and what is that on your hand? What, what is that on your hand? It's our wallet. It's, <coughs> it's, 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 it's poo. Mm, ah, it looks like it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it might be poo. <coughs> it is a uh, marking of the outsider. I got tattooed on my hand from Dishonored 2. Is Corvo had a tattooed on his hand, and I was like, I want that tattooed. So I got it tattooed, and here we are. And here we That is a fantastic <laughs> story. <laughs> Oh, boy, we're just winding up, folks. Oh, my yeah. God, it's going to be great. This is going to be fantastic. <laughs> no, it's 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 interesting. Um, good for you. That must have hurt. Uh, I can only imagine that's a pretty sensitive area. So. I mean, it, it hurt a little bit, like, around, like, right on the side of my hand. Yeah. It hurt a little bit, but, I mean, as I always say, like, when they first did my tattoo, like, my first one, they were like, oh, is that okay? And they, they just did a line. Well, yeah. Well, we're not gonna be like. Yeah, we're gonna be, be like, like. Yeah, you haven't really got into it yet, or like started really going. Well, in with e- this. even at that, it's just like, what if I were to cry and tell you to stop right now? Like, what, is, so what are you gonna do? You're just gonna leave yeah, me with a line on my have head. A yeah. line on my arm. It's like no. You just like I'm it. badass. Look at this. And you're like, dude, that's a line. Yeah, it's all I can take. <laughs> <laughs> just like, oh, that's all I can take, man. <laughs> that line. Look how bad that line. <laughs> no, you got a, You got a couple nice pieces. Uh, actually, yeah, most yeah. of your tattoos are really nice. Um, yeah. I, I love the Conker's one. Oh, dude, my Conker's. That's one. that's probably my favorite one that you I have. Get, the color on it is really awesome. Right, it's, it's like my favorite one. Yeah, too. for no, for everybody who can who can't see this, obviously, <laughs> uh, it's a picture of Conker from Conker's Bad Fur Day with a crown on, where he's just looking absolutely miserable. Uh, and underneath it, it says "Gamer Established 1994." So it's it's actually a really cool tattoo. The work is is really good on it. Um, yeah, that's, yeah, that's dude, a nice tattoo. It, I know this is actually probably my favorite one that I got. Which, I got nine of them now. So. Got nine of them. Oh, you know what's two less than nine? Uh, seven. Right, didn't you? What a great segue. <laughs> didn't you have something <laughs> that, that, that literally... you wanted to talk about that uh, re- regarded the, the, the number seven? About Resident Evil? Oh! <laughs> so, See, wasn't that a great segue? That was I like Just that. instantly right. I was like, wait, I was like, seven days, I, uh, I'm, wait, I think it's seven days that I turned 25. <laughs> seven or eight? I don't remember. Um. Yeah, I finished up my tattoo. I got to finish up, and I was just like, "Ah, oh, yeah, I want some pizza," because that's what you crave when you're done getting a tattoo. Yeah, you're pizza. like, "I want pizza." Dude, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I went across literally like, I think I walked like a total of three steps, which is more than I do in a week. <laughs> That's, that's not true. You get a lot of work out at work, dude. Going back and forth and stuff. That's but that's yeah, funny. Um. So I was getting a piece of pizza. The dude, I mean, okay, look, I work customer service. You work customer mm-hmm. service. Yep. I know what to look for when I want customer service. Dude, this guy was just absolutely horrible. I like, I came over to the counter and it took him a few minutes to actually come to the counter. And by then, I'm just like, I could have robbed you blind and ran out of the door. <laughs> <laughs> 
but I chose not to. Why do you have a tip jar out? Because you certainly ain't getting one. Yeah, I one. should take some of that, actually. Here's a tip. I'll take a dollar. Get a, get a better attitude, you dag. <laughs> so, so he comes out, and I'm just like, yeah, I just want one slice so pepperoni, one, one of Pepsi. So, he's like, oh, okay. And which, I paid four fifty for that. For a slice of pizza and a Pepsi? Yeah. I think I was screwed. Dude, over. most yeah, dude, most places have like the two. What is it like? Usually two slices two of pizza slices and, and a soda, soda for like three or four bucks. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, man, you got gypped out of a, out of a piece of pizza. I feel God that damn sucks. It. I know. Why would you do that to a fat, to a fat kid? person? Come I mean, on, being a fat man. person myself, <laughs> if I had gone in and like you know, I guess maybe I can understand with like the rush of just having the tattoo done. That maybe you weren't thinking right, yeah, yeah, and it, you were just like it. you know riding that high out, and we're just like whatever. It's pizza <clears> nom <throat> nom, and then later we're like, wait a minute, <laughs> there was supposed to be two of them. Hold on, this yeah, hold on, yeah, the thank you grenades, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, the thank you grenades come out. But so uh, continue. So uh, I get <clears> stuff <throat> from, and he's like, all right, man, have a good day. And I was, and I'm, like, I was just like, yeah, I'm gonna eat it here, dude. Like. Yeah, I'm okay. like, trying to get the athletes. <laughs> and like he, so he goes in the back, and I go over to uh, one of the booths and I sit down in the booths. Which, by the way, they weren't like bolted to the floor. What? So like, you know how like most of them are like bolted oh, yeah, to the yeah, floor yeah, for sure. Th- yeah, this one wasn't. <laughs> so like, I go to start and just <laughs> oh, what? So like slides shit. away. Yeah. I was like, oh my god! The guy on the phone's like, yeah, I got a fat guy right here. He just wrecked the place. I got a kid on the floor. I gotta go do stuff now. <clears throat> so, you know, I was like, oh, like, oh, I'm really bored. This is really boring just sitting in here. They have a TV at the far end, but like, but like, like not you weren't able to see if you were sitting on the other oh, side. Oh, so you're like room. a side view. So I'm looking like and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I see one dude's face. I'm like, that's all what I see. So I'm just like, whatever, I'm gonna go on YouTube and um <clears throat> I watched it was about like twenty one minutes long, I think. Banned DLC content from Resident Evil Seven. And I was like, dude, like here here's the thing. So I love blood and gore. It's awesome. Oh, yeah. It's great. Absolutely. <clears throat> but, dude, this was too much for me. I'm, really? I was sitting there no. and I'm like, holy now, shit. Now, where was it banned? Was it banned everywhere or just it, in certain areas? It was banned uh, from what I... I did some research after, where after I watched it. <clears throat> it was banned in the U.S. Okay. China, Japan, I think Australia, too. It was banned in Japan? It was made in Japan. That's interesting. Okay. I may not have been Japan. No, that's that's very no. interesting. So I was watching it, and I'm just like, dude, like, first of all, it was so like you know you know the movie Saw, right? Mm-hmm. It was like that. It was literally exactly like that. Like if like, <clears throat> like just basically torture porn. Um, not not the pornography part. There oh. wasn't. Yeah, there was no boobsy oh. boobies. I was supposed to well, say boobsies. And a boobsies? <laughs> Boobie <laughs> boobsies! <laughs> we love you, Ryan George. <laughs> so what, so it was just, was it just people... <laughs> Apparently I have to turn my phone on mute because I'm an idiot and didn't do that before the podcast. <laughs> Note to self. <clears throat> Be prepared. <laughs> but, uh, it was... I mean, I mean. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, but, but so was it? Was it like people in torturous situations? Yeah. Or the, like the thing was, is that like I, it was only 21 minutes of it. I think there was more of it. I think I should have watched see if there was any more of it. Okay. But I got to the 21 minute mark, and that's how long the video was. And literally, it's like, it's like saw, but it's really mad. It's I don't know if you, if I can swear or not. Oh, of course, yeah. It's really fucked up. Okay. It's royally, like, t- dude, like, at the end of the video, I was just like, wow, I can totally see why this was banned. Fair enough. <laughs> like, it, oh my god. Well, I'm sure anybody interested could, like, check it out on, I and mean, you found it through YouTube, so it's probably not oh, yeah. difficult th- to come across. There's, or... there's actually a, um... Because that got... was a really good game. I very much enjoyed Resident Evil 7. You know what? I actually did not see it or play it. Oh, yeah, you don't do well with jump scares and stuff. <clears throat> 
So, you know what I thought would be a great idea? No, what's that? What better what, what better way to spend the sleepless night at, you know, 12 o'clock in the morning watching Resident Evil 7 gameplay on YouTube on a 52-inch flat screen when I'm on my bed and there's no lights. Wow. <coughs> that, that, that sounds like a poor decision on your part. <laughs> yeah, he's really That sounds poor. like a sleepless night. <laughs> I just see you, like, you know, at night with your your hands just white-knuckled, <laughs> holding on oh, to your, oh, your blanket God. for dear life, just like your eyes popping out the top like darting back and forth. Dude, I was, I was, pl- I was watching Odin some of the- farts and you shit your pants. <laughs> <laughs> this is like... Oh, <laughs> no. I was watching some of it this morning and Brittany comes out and, uh, you know, she, she's like, what are you watching? And I'm like, I'm watching Resident Evil 7. And I was like, if I know Resident Evil, which I do, I'm like, something's gonna happen to that girl. <laughs> and like five minutes in, she gets kidnapped, and I'm like, oh, what, oh, what there we tell go. You? Yep, wow. I'm like, yep, yeah, she's gone. And uh, they showed, like, um, you know, that, like the beginning of it. Um, well, you played it. Yeah. Um, you know, like in the beginning of it where they show, like, like the camera crew going yeah, or whatever? Yeah. Yeah, and like Andre or whatever mm-hmm. it was, was, was like killed or something. Mm-hmm. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't even, so like, I'm sitting there and I'm watching it and I'm watching it and they see Andre and I'm like, yep, yeah, um, I have a feeling he's dead. And sure enough, he sure, fell oh, back yeah. and he, he was dead and I was like, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, what? No. I called it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's safe to assume that most people that you're going to come across in a Resident Evil game are, are dead. probably, you know, <laughs> unless it's you. You know, unless you know, do the main, the main anti, or I'm sorry, protagonist that you, everybody else is pretty much screwed. Around <laughs> Everyone's in. either dead or they're <laughs> they're going to die something. or something worse is going to happen. Yeah. Uh, no, in number seven, oh, because like I said, I haven't played or anything. Okay. You can use weapons and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so. Anyone who's watching this podcast, or not watching, they're, yeah. they're, if you're <laughs> watching this, please teach us how you do that because. <laughs> They can um, see sound. And, <laughs> yeah, have you ever drank a ton of monsters? I just, no, not like that. You, can, you can smell colors. That's awesome. <laughs> um, anyone who's listening to this podcast, uh, if you've played Resident Evil 7, uh, don't you get that vibe from, like, like Outlast? Like, have you play, ever played Outlast? Yeah, I have Don't you I get that Outlast. vibe from it? Like, yes. Uh, but the thing that I don't like about Outlast is that I'm not a fan of one of those, like, you have to run and there you have absolutely no defense against yourself. It's yeah, like, it's either run, hide, or die. Yeah, or die, yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, that's like, I mean, that's not even realistic. <laughs> it's like, at least, I mean... No, I would grab something yeah, and anything. throw it yeah. out. Or like, yeah, but, but yeah. <laughs> if so, it was me, I'd like... Grab me and throw it at. Yes. <laughs> but <laughs> let me rip up my leg. It's attachable. Comes, <laughs> comes right off. But, no, but yes, it, it absolutely does remind me of Outlast. Only you can defend yourself. You know it, what I mean? It reminds me more of the second one because from what I've seen from Resident Evil Seven gameplay, which was about ten minutes, mm-hmm. um, a lot of there's like a good amount of it that's like outside or whatnot, like. Oh, in seven? Yeah. 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 Which reminds me of the last two, but it doesn't remind me of the first one, which... Mostly you know, takes place in the hospital. Yeah. And stuff like that. Yeah. It's a very confined area. So, like, sure. the the thing with, with Outlast, Outlast 2 is that, honestly, Lude, like... I mean, it was, like, they had they had an interview with the producer... Pro- producer of it? I don't know. The, guy, the guys who made it. Uh, Red Barrel, I believe... Um, they were, they were, like, pushed to do it. To do a part two to Outlast? Yeah, so, like, they didn't have the timeline, uh, when, it, this would make more sense, when they were, when the first one was released, uh-huh. they didn't have a time constraint. Oh, I see. But then but they had a super two, crunch time, they were yeah. like, you have to have this out by this yeah. point. Which actually is an interesting, um thing that that has been a huge problem uh more so in the past couple of years that you've seen with like developers like rockstar mm. and like uh activision and stuff like that with the crunch times and people working like 
24, you know, 23, 24 hour days for like... Call of Duty would be one yeah, of them. Call of Duty. Fallout would be the second one. Yeah, fall, yeah Fallout. Well, was, especially 76. Yeah, 76 <laughs> was... Um, and, and I love where it's at now. <laughs> oh my god, um, and they I, I think that they've got nowhere to go but up. But I think that is an, an, an unscrupulous business practice is making those people work that much. You know yeah. what I mean? And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that the way video games are now, they're basically <clears> like... Major motion pictures. A lot of them cost as much, yeah, to make as a major motion picture would. Um, Maybe that's being a little excessive, but but you know what I'm saying. It costs yeah, oh a yeah. lot of money, oh, millions yeah. and millions of dollars yeah. to make a video game these days. Well, it, it, when so the developers for Outlast Two, Red Barrel or Red Barrels, um, they said we're given the time crunch, um, which really 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 affects how like i love video games that have long stories like i don't like playing a video game where i can beat the entire campaign in like four hours yeah exactly what's Which, the point cough cough call of duty golf <laughs> um <clears throat> so did you just say cough yeah <laughs> that was great i just I was like wait did he say golf no he said cough cough call of duty cough call of duty cough call of duty, cough, <laughs> cough, call of duty. um <clears throat> so what they did is they didn't make it as good as the first one. So, like, they added a ton more jump scares because, like, they still wanted the game to be scary. If you compare the first Outlast to the second Outlast, and the amount of jump scares in the first one is nowhere near where it's at in number two. Number two, there's, like... You just expect them. And yeah, you're just, like, getting like by the end of it, you're like, all right, I'm yeah. done. Yeah. I'm done. <clears throat> in the first one, they do it so well. Like... You, like you can kind of see when the jump scare is coming. Like if the person goes up to, well, that's when it's done right. You exactly, know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's it's you you sprinkle it out rather yeah. than inundate yeah. the audience. Yeah. With it. That way you, exactly you have atmosphere and yeah, just tension building as and opposed to just like bah, scares. Like we'll see. That's exactly that's those. what I like about a horror games and horror movies. I love the aspect of like most of the movies, like um, Friday the Thirteenth. Okay. Um, Great franchise to bring up. Super amazing franchise. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> the way that they portrayed horror is like... It was done beautifully in Friday the 13th. Like, mm -hmm. it was actually like... You were just like, whoa, shit. In the early ones. Because yeah. later on, it started later getting on, a it little started ridiculous. Getting, yeah. but, uh, no, I agree. Um, yeah. Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> and that's how I like video games to be. So, like, I wasn't... Like, yeah, I played Outlast 2 and out the first Outlast, and yeah, I could didn't sleep for almost about a week, uh, which was really bad. Um, Outlast 2, I would say, yeah, it's scarier than the first one, but the reason why is because of the amount of jump scares. Like, I'm horrified at jump scares. Yeah, yeah. Jump scares scare the hell out of me. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And <laughs> I guess that's probably why they call them jump scares. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> yes. And... I, you know, I have to say that number two was scarier than the first one because of all the jump scares, but the first one was done right. It was done properly. It was, they didn't have a time constraint. Red Barrels was able to put, you know, as much time as they wanted into the first one. They weren't under time crunch as the second So they one. didn't just have to pad it with jump scares and be like, and just neglect yeah, a lot of yeah. the underlying so, so like a lot of things. A lot of the characters from the first, um, for the first Outlast, you see, like, pictures of and stuff, and you compare that to number two, and you're just like, what the hell? Like, I mean, you know, number the first one you start out as a journalist, don't even ask me what his name is, because I don't remember. And, uh, <clears throat> he, it was like, he was a pacifist, so your only options were to hide, run, or die, mm -hmm. and whatever it was. And in number two, you were, it was more, it was more cult, which I think video games... Are starting to ride that bandwagon a little bit, which I mean, which I actually kind of, if you if you look at it from that kind of perspective, almost harkens back to Resident Evil Seven. Yeah. If you look at like the family dynamic, um, and not to mention that they all weren't related, mm -hmm. not all of them were, but it, so it was almost like a sect or like a cult. Yeah. Which is kind of neat. So I, I just thought of that parallel. No, well. number two, LS LS two is literally like. So the first one, the first one was pretty much based on the fact where like this uh, insane asylum, um, the pretty much like an old fashioned movie with an insane asylum. You know the people that work there go corrupt. They do crazy experiments on 
the uh, the people there all sorts and stuff. of crazy shit running yeah. around trying to kill you. And you, in, can, you have in, a camcorder, but no weapon. <laughs> yeah, which I mean that um uh, the the battery. I'm pretty sure you have it in LS too. You have the battery life, and you can switch it to the VR mode or not the VR mode. Jesus, played too much Pokemon Go. Um. <laughs> the, uh, People still play that? No, they, no, they did. Yeah, they, they, they just came on the Harry Potter, Potter the, one. Did they really? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> they just came on the Harry Potter one. <laughs> Two and I were at the movies when, just real quick when we were seeing Spider Man, yeah. and there were like three or four kids in front of us. And I look at when the movie's over, and, and one of them is playing Pokemon Go. I'm like, holy shit. I was like, Tui, look at that. I was like, people, people still play that? He's like, dude, they, he's like, they were all playing it at one point. I was like, what? <laughs> but, that, wow. Okay. Um, But, yeah, LS2 was literally a cult. It's all what it was. It was like you were in a plane crash or something, and the pilot died, which every video game, the pilot always dies. Of course. Always dies. Oh, you have to right at the beginning. <laughs> If you're um, an ancillary character at the beginning of a video you're game, you're pretty much that. You're yeah, just like right <laughs> your, you might as well just off right right away. <laughs> you're not gonna make it. Um, and um, you know uh, the the girl reporter or something was like your wife or something, and like they end up like uh, using her as like uh, like Adam and Eve, but like Eve. Um. And it was supposed to bring, like, the Antichrist in the world or some shit. And, like, okay. the priest dude was, like, this evil guy. And I was just, like... And that's I mean, It's, like, yeah, they have, like, a baseline, but it's not a good baseline. It wasn't very well fleshed <clears throat> out. They yeah. didn't really go into a whole lot so, of... So, like... The, and the, I didn't... Again, I didn't play the second one. I have the first one and the uh, and the whistleblower DLC yeah. for it. But I... Oh, even that, I gave up on... DLC. I gave up on Outlast, man, because I just got totally sick of that. Again, because I don't get down... I can't yeah. deal with it, so I just kind of gave up on yeah. it. I mean, I guess I could always go back and stop being a, <coughs> a wiener, but... <laughs> where's the fun in that? Um, The second one <coughs> is... T- takes place in, at, like, a church or something, which, you know, most cults do. Uh, the first one took place at uh, yeah the hospital Parsons State Insane Asylum. Either that or I just ripped off of Fallout. It's well, what Parsons. was Fallout? I don't remember. There were a few uh, of them. You know what? It totally was Fallout because Parsons Creamery. There we go. <laughs> I just ripped off. Just ripped off Fallout. So it's, um, Mount, I, Mountain Hills Estate or something. You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna stop trying to go with the name for well, it. Well, Tumble, while Tumbles calls the paramedics to get him out of that train wreck. <laughs> um. <laughs> Set it up every now and then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, have you gotten around to watching any of the movies that you got from uh, from re- replay? Yes, actually. Yeah. Um. So I watched. Um. <clears throat> WWE's greatest factions, and of course the first faction they talked about was DX, which I know you're not a wrestling kind of guy, but anyone who's listening to this can understand that DX was like the biggest and largest group that was in WWE history. Um, and I watched uh, two episodes of Eves and Butthead. Nice. <laughs> Other than that, it's still sitting on my closet doorknob. Well, at least you got... <laughs> it's still sitting on the doorknob? Is it in the bag still? Yeah. Wow. Yep. Wow. Yeah. You didn't even take them out of the bag? I don't know where to put them. <laughs> well, I guess that's better than nowhere. Dude, I actually, uh... You're gonna be shocked by this. I ordered a book yesterday. Good for you. What book? Um, A video game book, actually. Okay. Um, Not not a guide. But uh, Far Cry, Far Cry 5. I got the hardcover de- edition of it. Oh wow! I mean, the, the the they call it you know Far Cry Five the novel, and I'm like, dude, number five is my favorite. Yeah, I was gonna like, say. Like, no, is it is it episodic or is it all just one book and then that's it? What do you mean? Like, so are they gonna put out another one? Is it like in a series or is it just I like one book? I think so. I think it's all just one book. Okay. Um. But I mean, Far Cry Five was, in my opinion, was a complete masterpiece. I played four, three, two, and one, and, and then Far Cry, Blood Dragon, Red Dragon. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop ripping names off of other video games. Just say that one. <laughs> we'll be like, I played that one. That and one. Was, there we go. <laughs> I played that I game. I played that Far Cry, and then you know. <laughs> um, but number five was oh my god, dude! Number five was just my absolute favorite. 
I love that game. I've beaten it like four times. Yeah. So. I've been playing a lot of Contra lately. <laughs> Contra and Final Fantasy X. So it's like, I was on my Fallout kick and then I ended up buying Final Fantasy X and X-2 because those are like, well, X is my favorite Final Fantasy game. X-2 is, but it was a package deal. So I was like, whatever. Didn't they um, <coughs> do like a release trailer or something of like a new Final Fantasy game that has Tiffin? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's uh, the Final Fantasy VII remake, uh, which is coming out in November. I believe it's November. Because, uh... I'm excited you know, for that one. never played a Final Fantasy game. No, I know. Yeah, well, you watched me play Summit 10 <laughs> I when did. I started that I one. I did, yeah. Um, I just... I don't know if that's really... Because you're good with, like, the um, the, the RTS games, like uh, Civilization and, and, and uh, uh, you know... Um, Civilization and Halo Wars. Um, I was actually really good, like, when I, back when I was a little kid, which uh, made myself sound like I'm super old, even though I'm not. Oh, you are. You're 104. <laughs> you look great, though. <laughs> For 104, man, I got I got beautiful skin. I'm saying it's great. Um, I totally forgot what, so I was what happens talking when about. you drink virgin's blood all day. <laughs> I totally forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> uh, uh, Final Fit, you were good with the RTS games. Oh yeah, when I when I was a little kid, um, I used to play this game called Army Men or Army Guys or something. It was an actual game and. You played as little... Yeah, the you, plastic guys. Exactly. Yeah, I remember and that. that. Was, and there was a few of them where it was an RTS game. And I just... I dominated at it. Like, Well, that's yeah, that's why I was saying. I know you're good at those, but I don't know like if... You, like, you're really a turn-based RPG kind of guy. You know, the only turn-based RPG that I ever played was South Park Six Truth. Okay. Well, did you like it? <laughs> oh, I loved it. Okay. I, I thought the game was great. All right. So then, I mean, maybe you could get down with it. I mean, it all depends on what you like. Um, I mean, they're relatively cheap on the Xbox Store. Yeah. Yeah. Um, seven is a great one. Um, I know they have like nine, and obviously ten and ten too. Um, I think you'd really like ten. But so I've been playing a lot of that, and then I got I picked up. Well, it's like two collections. It's like um. Konami collections. One was Castlevania, the other one was Contra, and it, the Castlevania one I think like had eight games on it or something like that for like nineteen ninety nine. I'm like sick, okay. And then the Contra one had like ten games on it for again nineteen ninety nine. I'm like, yeah, shut up and take my money. Right. So uh, that's been my go to. Those those have been my go tos. Other than that, I, I really haven't played much of Fallout. I'm really waiting for Wastelanders. I am too. I'm, I'm excited to see what they're gonna do with that. So it's like the you know they have New Guild winner and they're just like oh well if you play online against other people which, I mean it was fun but I don't like I mean I could have gotten down if it wasn't for the impending like you know with the storm because then I felt rushed yeah like even though that one match I just sat in the room. Mm-hmm. For like you yeah. know the last eight minutes <laughs> you just I had, had to, to move when I had to yeah and I was like oh man. <laughs> Uh, well, but so it's cool, but I, I don't think, I don't think I would play it regularly, you know what I mean? I'd probably be much more inclined to play, like, the adventure mode. You know, I just actually thought of something, given Fallout 76, uh, what, like, what's your opinion on, uh, on how it's, like, multiplayer based? Like, how we can all play together? Well, so, so, like, I look at it this way, when I'm, if I'm playing Fallout, Sometimes, yeah, I would love to play my friends, which you are able right, to do right. in this one, which is absolutely awesome. We love the hell out of it mm-hmm. for the longest time. <clears throat> but, like, I didn't really... Something, like, most of the time, like, aspects of, like, if I'm playing by myself, you know, I'm in Flatwoods or something, and someone is in the party, someone, or not in the party, but someone's in-game, and they have their mic on. Yeah, you can hear and them. And they're listening and they... to either, like, music, yeah. or, like, they're just like, ah! And squeaking yeah. is just you like You can a, mute them. I mean, can? what I do is I will just start a party. That's what I've been and doing. And then just mute your mic. Yeah. And, and that way they can't hear you, you can't hear them because you're in a separate party. It's a stupid workaround, and I'm sure there's something easier, but... No, not saying all that is bad. No, like, but it is annoying. It yeah. can get annoying. I actually met um this kid. Um, His Xbox name is... I don't even remember. All right, good. I don't think we can say it anyway about blowing yeah. that shit up. So, <laughs> um, it was, but it was I met, Tommy Stinkface. But, uh, but I, I met him, 
because he came to my the vending machines I had and he saw like <clears throat> like some of the stuff and he was just like dude like holy crap you have really good prices on stuff and uh, I actually became good friends with the kid okay because I mean yeah he only had his mic and I had my mic and it was within the vicinity <clears throat> and that was. A ton of fun. That kid was mad nice. Um, I actually, when I played it the other day, I was like, you know what? I'm going to save this the next time he comes on because he has to still shoot down a cargo bot. Okay. Um, I bought from a vending machine a cargo bot a signal flare. <laughs> <laughs> Just come on in, boys. Bring it in. Yeah, no, All right, you, you ready? Come hey, on in. Yeah, fire. You got to get her. <laughs> so... <laughs> I got that, which, like, I'm super stoked for. Um, but, as, you know, going back to, like, the, some of the things where they're, like, really annoying. Um, sometimes if I'm playing, like, I don't really have, or, like, if I'm just playing just for, like, a go to work or something. It's like, yeah. don't have other people. I don't, I don't like to have other people to playing the same game. I know that sounds selfish, but, like, if I'm playing the game... I want to play the game, like, maybe have, like, 15 minutes before I have to go to work. Or, you know, maybe I have... I'm off that day or something. Okay. And I'm not, like, a huge fan of, you know, of other people just going in and blowing up and sounding like total dicks on the mic and stuff. Like, it, yeah. it's annoying. Well, that's, again, that's why I like turning just it off. Because yeah. it, it is immersion breaking, especially when, like, you know, you're really feeling it on a mission or something. Oh, hell yeah. And you're, like, into it. And, you know, you got, if you're in your groove, you got your concentration going on. And then somebody's like, um, you know, hey, I found chopsticks. Or so you're like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> what? I found chopsticks. Oh, congratulations. You yeah, get Chinese food yeah, with yeah, not a, yeah, it's not. <laughs> congratulations for not only finding the chopsticks, for completely ripping me from the experience of enjoying my video Exactly, game, yeah. yeah. Or like, you know, a, a kid crying or something like that. Yeah, oh my it, it God. takes you right out of it. There was one person, I he had to have been trolling other people. He had to have been. He There was a baby that was crying in the background, and he was following people around. And I was just like, dude. Oh, that's annoying. Like, Come on, <laughs> dude. Like... like Go be a dad, put down the damn controller, and shot your kid off. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's 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 insane, though. I mean, why would you? Again, that's why I mute everybody. Yeah. Cause you don't have to. You don't have to put up with it. Um, I I wish that it was a lot more single player friendly because I feel there's a lot of stuff in that, the game that you can't you, do yes. without people. They're yes. like, oh, you could beat this game by yourself. No, you couldn't. I'm like, you know, there's like some things it that you It takes like 15 need. people to say, take down the damn Squirge Beast. Well, not only that, but there's like a lot of mission type stuff that you can't do oh, without yeah. somebody else too. Oh, like yeah. Especially in like the Pioneer Scouts. Oh. Like you have to res a buddy. Okay, oh I can't do that by myself. That's literally a, that's literally something yeah. you need somebody else for. It's not like there's another human NPC or hell, any other NPCs that would go down, you know what I mean? And then you just run up with a stem pack and you're like, I have a you're story good. about that. Okay. So, BD and myself were in his house and, and uh, I was like, right near Scouts River. So, like, he had to get the revival body thing. So, I jumped off the edge of his house and just fell. And he was like, I'm going to, he's like, I'm going to stem pack it. So then he jumped. <laughs> I was like, I was like, he hits the ground, he dies that die. And I'm like, dude, <laughs> He's walking out the front door. Like, Jesus. It's like, there's a door right there. Like, don't jump off thinking you're I mean, unless live. he was in his power armor, but he was obviously not in his power no, armor. No, he wasn't in his wow. power armor. Which, Good lord. I was like, I was like, Petey, what are you doing, dude? Now we're both down. <laughs> you're sitting there, you're just like twirling the camera, and you just see board all <laughs> splayed out on the ground, too, and you're like, come on, man. They go, oh, come on, dude, you're everywhere. Oh, my oh, God. I think that's some of your broken stim pack over there. I'm going to try to, like... I want to see if I can lick it. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're dead. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. But, <laughs> it was just so funny. It was like, I jumped off so you could revive me. Then he forgets and he jumped, and off, he too. jumped yeah. off. I was like, dude, what crazy shit. Got like community for... Xbox or for Fall and oh for seventy six for oh yeah well I mean well I mean it's a mixed f- bag fifty fifty honestly 
Um, I've only interacted with cool people. I think I've had like one poor interaction with oh somebody. Oh my god. Again, I don't interact with people as much as you do. My house has been new to me like yes. three times. You have, well, you just, as a, as a general rule, going back to, to the, I can't even remember how many fallouts ago, but you have just notoriously had terrible I luck. I have had horrible luck. <laughs> just across horrible many luck. Fallout games. <laughs> um, I mean, between like, you know, just it crashing and not loading and stuff not being there mm-hmm. and, you know, yep. all sorts of your, your just your camp and <clears throat> 76 being magically wiped out and like nuked a hundred thousand <laughs> times. People just have a list with just your name on it. So when it pops on, they're like, oh, let's get them. Dude, <laughs> Bethesda's so, like watching you. I uh, I spawned in. I was playing Fallout seventy six, and I spawned in. There was no issues. I was like, oh my god. Yeah. I was like, this is great. So like, I turned on my face on uh, Facebook, uh, reading, scrolling through, because like some people are like, hey, I have this for sale, things like that. Sure. And it's really cool. So like, you know, I'm scrolling through, and of course they're like thirty five k. 75k and here I am with 14, 1400 it's like ah uh, can I get a crumb from like something <laughs> I'm like um, can, can I afford a 50 caliber bullet with this <laughs> that's ridiculous yeah people's prices are, are, are pretty crazy um I don't know it's it's again it's it's better than it was when it was released by uh, leaps and bounds um their server still crashes when you get Does when it? you nuke the map three times. Does it really? <laughs> so when I was playing that day, like I, after I scroll scrolled through, um, I just uh, you know started quest death above, and then I was like okay, so I turned map to see where it was set if it was going to White Springs. Right. And there was three of them, in like a triangle circle. Over, I'm sorry, over. in a triangle circle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. What, what does that look like? A triangle um, circle. So like, it's it's like a triangle, but it's it's, it's like a bubble. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Did, all right. So, sure. Something, something like that. Okay. And uh, <coughs> I see um, I see that there's three nukes on White Springs, and I was like, oh my god, they're gonna crash the server. So sure enough, like the one just just you. <laughs> Second, <laughs> third. I'm just like, oh, uh, it's gonna better, crash. Yeah, I better just save. So like, as soon as it hit it, the server just it lagged out. <laughs> on the feed on Facebook, I just I just read who what dumb shit just new White Springs <laughs> three times. <laughs> nice. I was like, oh my god. I was like, right. so yeah, I saw that too. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I uh, saw that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, there might just not be anything they can do about that, and that's yeah. just like one of those things that you just like. Now, now, you're on the honor system. Don't nuke three times. But which, you're gonna have trolls that go out there and do it anyway. You know. Which I always thought that like that was really weird because I mean, if you look at Fallout Four. When they had the, well, was it a nuke that went off? It was like it was a it was a nuke or wow Jesus Christ nuclear detonator holy shit! All right, so it was a nuclear <laughs> explosion. <laughs> so you we'll know how like it in editing. <laughs> how it was under the CIT building, uh, to get rid of the institute, and when it blew up, the whole r- MIT ruins and stuff yeah. was like. It was, like, just freshly nuked, being, being that it was, you know, just nuked, basically. Yeah. Um, and if... I kind of thought that Fallout 76 it would almost be like that. But at the same time, if it was actually like that, where it was, like, a destructible environment, there wouldn't be an Appalachia. No, absolutely yeah. not. Just Everyone because people would be, would be tearing... It. Yeah, they'd be, yeah, there'd be just <laughs> nothing but debris on the ground. You're like, oh. Spun it. Where'd my house go? Yeah, where's my house? Yeah. <laughs> no, the, the, but they are they are good games. I mean, I never really got into Fallout Shelter at all just because I felt that oh. that was just a quick... Oh, my God. You know, it was a free game. They had microtransactions, and I was like, that just seems like a, a quick cash grab in between Freedom games isn't free. No, not at all. People pay money for that stuff, man. Yeah. People, people love their mobile games and, and microtransactions. It's crazy. You know, I worked for a cleaning services, uh, cleaning service, not services, but a cleaning service where the do- where the daughter accidentally. Spent- air quotes for nobody who can see the air quotes. They oh, just right, did that. Right. I forgot <laughs> that there's no camera. You um, know that old fucking <clears throat> saying from radio, show, don't tell. Um, <laughs> They... 
spent over six hundred dollars on microtransactions. Six hundred dollars. She thought that she it was for like a horse game or something. <laughs> I know, and uh, she thought that she had bought it, but it wasn't registering because the game was trying to refresh itself after the purchase. So she kept hitting it, and they got wow. they got yeah. And they and six hundred dollars later. Six hundred dollars later, she had to tell her mom, um, her mom. Wow. Yeah, dude, six hundred dollars. Did you get paid that week? Uh, yes, actually. Really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, but it was also one of those ones where it's like, don't cash this until Monday. Yeah, <laughs> this is this is to gonna you. bounce like an NBA ball. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, wow. Yeah, it was. Crazy man. So like, I'll, I'm, I mean, I'll be the first to admit, yeah, I spent money on microtransactions. Well, sure. I mean, you know, it's like anything else. I mean, not, not me to speak moderation. <laughs> um, but I mean, you know, I, you know, I, I think everybody's. I bought microtransactions. Just about everybody I know has bought my, yeah, has, has done microtransactions. Mm-hmm. I feel that the six hundred dollars is a bit much. Dude, that's... Yeah, I mean, I mean. Oh my well, god! Well, and, and especially just for like one shot. And granted, it was like a stupid error, but I mean, it, it, that's just a dumb situation. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. But there are people out there, man. Like kids, kids have like cleared out their parents' bank accounts and stuff. Uh, I was looking recently um, on a. It was a. Uh, I didn't watch the video, but I, the thumbnail for it on YouTube was like the new FIFA game or something like that has like cost. Oh, like people's like bank accounts have been drained, yeah. and I'm like, what? Yeah, like microchips, and I'll, I'll have to watch the video, uh, but it just seems like it's getting out of control. They have a ton of, uh, <clears throat> they have like an absolute ton of microtransactions in FIFA because like I've actually watched. Well, that's you, EA. EA is fucking horrible. <laughs> oh, oh my They're god, horrible. EA is terrible. Uh, I mean. I hope you're listening, EA, because yeah, you me suck. too. Fuck you. <laughs> you suck. You suck. <laughs> um, and they want. Can you believe that they want to know why people hate them so much? That is an actual thing. Wait, they, they're EA doesn't that? understand why they get all the hate they get. Oh what? yes, that's a thing. Oh yeah. 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 Have Have they been living under a rock? <laughs> it. it I don't know. Have they been living behind the unfinished games that they, they pushed they've been out? Spending, yeah, they've been spending so much time at the office, there's been no contact with the outside world, so they're like, what? What's wrong? Well, what do we do? What? It's like, shut up, man. Get some water. Shut up! <laughs> Clack a little Timmy in the face. Right? <laughs> little Timmy the programmer? Yeah, why not? Video- okay, sure. Well, what? That's the 90s. Yeah, why right? not? Yeah. Sure. Dude, that... God, I can't believe EA is wondering why they get all yeah. this hate. Yeah, but it's but that again, going back to it, that's EA all around, man. Like they just they, they just milk you, you know. Yep. The oh, milk, yeah. They just want your money, bro. And I mean, obviously it's a business, but I mean, you know, I mean, enough it, is enough. Like they don't the, enough and, with the tomfoolery, huh? Cross uh-huh. promotion. <laughs> <laughs> That was awesome. <laughs> For those who were just wondering, that was not. That was that, yeah. That was we didn't spank each other. No, you know what? We spanked each other. It was it was not a high five. It was fun. It was it awesome. Was, yeah, it was weird. We missed. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I don't know exactly what that what that noise Did was. They, they could have been something. I don't know. Yeah, we don't know. Look, we again, we're just throwing spaghetti at the ooh spaghetti. <laughs> Can't watch the noodles. Stop. Wall spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> um, Does EA ever like partner with anybody? Like, weren't they with Activision, or didn't Activision and EA have something to do with each other? Or was that just me making shit up? <laughs> it might, I, I've been known it might have been you making shit up. Okay. Um, That's not outside the realm of possibility. It really isn't. No. Um, your oh, your Xbox is going to bed. Oh, that's okay. I don't mind. Bye, Xbox. Good night, Good night. Xbox. Thank you. Good night. We're boring it. We bored my Xbox to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. It's, it's not even on power safe mode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um, <coughs> no, Activision is partnered with. And don't, again, listeners, don't crucify me for this. If I <laughs> we get, did zero if I research someone, for yeah. anything we We literally did today. zero research. We, we didn't even know what the hell we were going to talk about <laughs> when we started, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I said, we were just throwing spaghetti at wall, seeing if there was any cooked pasta. Mm, gosh, <laughs> um, Activision is partnered with Sledgehammer Games. Um, 
Triarch. Those are the two biggest ones. Um, I think they part they partnered for Call of Duty World War Two. They partnered with Raven. Um, the Teen Titan. <laughs> That seems like an unlikely pairing, but continue. I'm sorry. It sounds kind of weird. Wow, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I, th- I think I think that's it. I'm not entirely sure. Okay. But, like, I mean, you know, it's kind of like, you know, I, 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 don't, I don't know. I could have sworn that that's all the people that were on there. Could be. Like, I, like, I don't know. I don't know. The EA strikes me as one of those people. Now, I remember the first time that I ever had ill will towards EA <coughs> was years ago when there was a video game called Thrill Kill that was supposed to be coming out for PlayStation. Okay, sounds got my attention. Now, Thrill Kill was a four-player multiplayer at the same time. It utilized. It was for PlayStation. It utilized um, the you know the multiplayer port where you could like plug four controllers and you could all play together. And basically the story was, you were in hell, and you and, like, nine other, like, twisted souls are, like, fighting each other to the death to, like... Like Hunger Games to, style? To go... No. Not like Hunger Games <laughs> style. Like, you're... It's like a... It's like a... It's like a every man for himself for four-player at the same time battle. And whoever... Yeah, it's like almost like King of the Hill. Who the fuck comes out? That's cool. It, yeah, it was really cool. And it was super bloody, super violent. It was, like, highly publicized and, like video game magazines because the internet was still kind of coming into its own back in the day um again we're probably going back to like 1998 or so somewhere right around there 99 um and the game for all intents and purposes was, was finished um and it i want to say it was like a month before its release date it was canceled and EA bought the rights to it and would not sell the rights so nobody else could make the game. And then it just kind of sat in limbo until, like, versions of it were leaked that you could play through either a, uh, like, a cracked PlayStation with, like, with like the mod chip in it. I used to have it. I used to have it. I may still somewhere have the disc. Um, but you could only play it either through a modded PlayStation or through Bleem. And if you don't know what Bleem is, back in the day, um, Bleem was a software that was sold that was a... It was emulation software. I will cut that and heading right to that. It was, <laughs> it was emulation software for your PC back in the day that if you had a powerful enough, would, would emulate um, PlayStation software. Yeah. So you could, like, in essence, rip your games. You could make a ROM out of your games uh, through your PC and play it on Bleem and stuff like that. Or, or, you know, And that was the only ways that you could play it. And I had gotten, uh, you know, a modded PlayStation and Thrill Kill for my birthday one year from from one of my old roommates, and it was it was such an awesome game. But the thing that's but where I was going with that is EA made it so that nobody else could could make this game. And if you look at the video games today, they pale in comparison to the stuff that was in this game. I mean, it was a, at the time it was very controversial made no mistake about it it was like it was hyper violent it was like nobody had really seen anything like it like it made Mortal Kombat look like you know wow um, so I mean look it up on YouTube bro. There's, they have like all the, they have gameplay they have all like there were like fatalities and like all sorts of crazy shit every character had like a really fucked up like backstory and stuff like that they were all like murderers and just terrible people um, it, but it was really cool I, I mean I suggest you check it out but, but EA you know I thought that was very unfair that they did that. And that's the long-winded story of why, you know, the first time I uh, that EA left a bad taste in my mouth. And then they just kind of, like, went down from there, I feel. Yeah, I... Ever, like, whenever... Like, when I heard of EA, like... Um, they made, like, the 2K... You know, the FIFA games, the hockey games, football games. Yeah, the games. MLB, yeah. the NBA. Oh, yeah. no, they couldn't make any. I don't think they had MLB. I don't think they had the ML- MLB license. I think it was just, like, the NFL, the FIFA, and the NBA. And the hockey, the NHL. I could be wrong. But... I don't I don't know. Um, But they made also all of the, uh, like, we're all versus SmackDowns, 2008, mm-hmm. 10, 11, so on and so forth. And... 
I mean, just playing those, you know, you, know, you could, I mean, and you just knew it was unfinished. Like, I mean, there's a, I forget his name, it's probably, it's a Scandinavian name. Um, for, it was, he was in FIFA, and when he would score a goal, he ran and slid on his knees. Mm -hmm. Which, there's a glitch where he runs and slides on his knees, and it just keeps going around the entire <laughs> field, sliding around Can on you his control knees. him when he's doing it? Because that'd be pretty cool. I be don't, like a, I don't he'd know. He'd be like a snowmobile that you can like this. It's like a human snowmobile! Speeding around all over the place. <laughs> Well, yeah, man. I mean, shoot, Jesus Christ. And then, yeah, and then, uh, yeah, yesterday, Brittany was talking to me about like how far that uh, games came, that they come so far from. Oh yeah. And you know, I told her, I'm like, well, that's that's what happens. And, you know, new and better things come out, and people make newer and better games. Uh, it's just like whenever you're playing an old an old school game, like. You know, this is what they had back mm -hmm. in, back in the day, and they thought that this was like, like the pinnacle the, of technology. Exactly. I like, mean, you had arcades too, but then I miss you arcades, know the man. me too. But oh well, the God. problem was is that the you know the further on you got, and the technology started to catch up with itself. Mm -hmm. You know, and then it finally surpassed arcade boards. You know, and it's like mm, okay, now you know. You know, my PC's got more powerful shit in it than, you know, most art or any arcade did back in the days. So it's this, you know, then home systems started, you know, being better than the arcades and nobody, you know, it's sad. It's sad. Do you know there's a restaurant nearby, like near us, that has like an arcade room? Yeah, I've heard about that. And yeah. you, also, we obviously have Dave and Busters, but who gives a shit about Dave and Busters? I've never, I've never, and I won't. I'm like, no, no thanks. All, all, he, all he kept asking me, he was just like, oh, dude, you want to go there for your birthday? And I was like... Not really. No. I'm like, I'm, I have to work. Like, I'm going to do what I do on, every Monday. I'm going to wake up, pretty much all of her going to chill and watch shows on Hulu. And if she'll take me to work, I work, I come home, play a few games, go to bed. Rinse, repeat. Yeah. Well, plus, and even if you were off, I mean, you, you could just stay and order food and like play video games there and like grab some beer and end up being cheaper in the long run you wouldn't have to put up with like a million drunk schmucks not that everybody that goes there is pots or anything like that but you know it's like you know there's there's always those those few people that, that ruin it for everybody else that you just you know you're like please stop do you remember the tilt world the tilt world in the mall no. It was like near the fountain. It was like one of the last arcades that I've ever played in. Oh, yeah. Tilt. Might, not Tilt the World. Is tilt. A, a tilt. Yeah. Tilt, tilt, the, tilt world. the World is a Ferris. Or it's like a carnival ride. Tilt the World. I'm so it's like, wait, sure. you mean the thing at Great Escape? I'm pretty sure Tilt the World is a song by Zen Clown Posse. Yeah, Tilt. No. <laughs> yeah, Tilt. I remember Tilt. Yeah. We had people that worked there. Yeah, oh, we, dude. yeah we, we knew I uh, love, several people that worked there. I love Tilt, man. Yeah. Oh, my God. It was the best. Yep. Like, I remember... I went in there and I felt like a big shot because I had twenty bucks on me. Like, yeah. I walked in there. I was feeling. I, I was feeling great. I was just like, "Y'all want to play this? I want to play this. I want to play this." And it was just a ton of fun. Yeah, our buddy Baker worked there. Um, funny story about Baker. His birthday is four twenty. Nice. That's what I said. That is a good birthday. And, and his last name is Baker, so it was just super funny. And he worked <laughs> at an arcade, had long hair and stuff like it. it was it was it was really good. cool guy, real cool guy. Sounds um, it, man. But yeah, no, that was that was a real cool place, and um, you know, Tui and Eddie used to go there all the time because they went to Shen, and you know, they would always be at that arcade. Like, and they, you know, and th there was there's a, a, a myriad of 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 their friends that would hang out there too, and and you know, who they they all still hang out to this day, except for Eddie because now he's in South Carolina, yeah. but like they all still chill, which is really cool. They all have like a group chat going on and stuff like that, which is really neat. I remember good dudes, real yeah. good dudes. I remember there was one time in there that I went in there. I was with uh, Brittany as an uh, old man was playing Santa Claus uh, for the mall. And we went. Merry with... Christmas! Give me your present, bud! Uh, I, Santa, I don't think that's how it works. Sure is, bud! Give me that. Thanks, bud! <laughs> I was broken. I gotta bring it to the North Pole and fix it. 
You're not coming back with that. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Deuces. Come on, Moosey. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Brittany was so went in there. <laughs> and um, there were these two people in there, man. Oh, my God. I mean... I thought that they were nuts, but I, now I play Call of Duty and I call out shots, so I just sound nuts now. And they're literally, like, they had to be retired from the Army or from the Navy or something. And, because, like, they were, it was crazy. We walked in, you know, and they were just like, 300 degrees and closing. It's like, get ready to drop the hammer. And I'm just, I'm like... What the hell? You're playing whack a mole. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, it was one of those games where um, it was uh, almost like pogs, but it had on how many tickets each one was worth. Okay. And it had this metal arm, which like the piece is about like that big. Okay. And it would put, it would go like that. It yeah. Just, so it would just sway everything into the uh, prize thing. Yeah. And these two were just you know, <laughs> three hundred meters, three hundred in closing. 200 in closing. And, of, and like, towards the end, they're just, they're just like, they're like, drop the hammer, drop the hammer, drop the hammer. It's like, you got it. We're in arcade. And, like, and not only that, what did they end up getting after all that ridiculous? They got a shit. Did they really? Yeah, they actually, they, they, ah. gave, they gave it to Brittany myself. No kidding. Yeah. Really? Yep, yeah, so I remember uh, we went, we got, uh, we got Popeye stuff the animals. Okay. <laughs> I got, um, oh God, what the hell's his name? Um... I think his name is like Bruce or something. From the, Popeye? I don't know. Bruce? Bruce. Bruce. Bruno? <laughs> the, the dude. Like the big ass dude. Uh, he was like in love with. Olive oil? Yeah. Yeah, with the beard and yeah. shit. Yeah, that Bluto. <laughs> Bluto. I was. <laughs> no, I wasn't making that up. I th- I'm pretty sure that's his name, is Bluto. Um, and Brittany got uh, olive oil. And it was just really cool because, you know, we were little kids really and we were just like, wow, that's awesome because they were like. The people who were playing the game were like, we don't want 50. The, we don't want their tickets. <laughs> no. They were young, dude. They had to have been like in their 30s. Oh, I, yeah. I just thought it was funny if they were 50. Like, <laughs> just old, retired people. Like, <laughs> they're, they're sitting there fighting. Reliving like their it. war days <laughs> through like the, the token machine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm storming Normandy, Bill. What? <laughs> we're in fucking tilt, bro. <laughs> <laughs> But it was really cool because, you know, they said to Bernie and myself, they were like, oh, we just wanted to play the game. Like, if you guys want tickets, you can have them. That's cool. So, we got the tickets. And we got the tickets and... Yeah, it was awesome, you know, combined with the tickets that we had, you know. Sure. Uh, I mean, it was... It was it was a ton of fun, man. Yeah, they used to be a lot of fans. Now it's, you know, and stuff like that. Memories that you have. Just... Mm-hmm. You and can't make any more Now our kids are gone and... Video games have effectively, like, it's interesting. They've moved the social dynamic. So, it, where it used to be, people would go out and socialize at arcades. Oh, pfft. Right? Please. So now, they are at home, but they're playing online. So, they've just kind of moved it <laughs> from the arcade they to your house. It. Yeah, it's like, hey guys, don't like going out in public to hang out with people? Here you go. It's like... Sweet. Oh, for the agoraphobe and everybody. Right? <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely crazy thing. You know, arcades are gone. You know, Blockbuster's gone. Yeah. Dude, I remember Blockbuster. I remember Hollywood Video, man. Like, that was my shit, man. Like, yeah. and, and then, you know, DVDs took over. So, and then they went out of business. They shut down. I think... The last Blockbuster, like, just closed or something. No, it's still... I'm pretty sure it's still open. It's, like, a tourist destination, too. It's, like, in Oregon or something like that. It's, like, out on the West Coast. It's, like, the only one. Or, no, you might be right. Maybe the only one is, like, in Australia or some shit. It's, it, there's, like, only one, and it's... But I'm... Is it in Alaska? I don't know. I'm gonna have to look into that. But, I, you know, I always like... Because I worked at a Hollywood video, you know, and I liked... Those ones were okay, but I always had a penchant for the mom and pop ones. The small, because they were everywhere, dude. Like, you know, it wasn't just, you know, they had up the road where the um, where the Dunkin' Donuts is up the road there, mm-hmm. you know, by Stewart's. There used to be a banana video in there back in the day. Like in banana 97, 
I want to say, yeah, it was a banana video. It was like a small, again, mom and pop type store. It wasn't part of a chain or a franchise or anything. And then over in the crossing, they used to have a place called Video World. Yes. Which was like my fucking yes. favorite one. I love Video World, they had World, the popcorn man. every time you went yep. in there that was free. You got the yep. free freaking bag of popcorn. Yep. They had awesome horror movies, man. They had the Faces of Death. They had like all the obscure Italian Movies. I went in there and I was like, dun, 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 and just <laughs> looking at all these like just awesome like they had the old they had the best selection of shit and the best part is they had an adult section. Oh man. Yeah, I was an adult, <laughs> sort of I guess. Can't remember how old I was. I, I, I remember uh, we we had this you know every Friday ritual, um, where Dad, Mom, Bernie, myself would go to Video World. Okay. And we would all, we were told that we could pick out one movie and we got candy and we got popcorn. And then nice. And we'd go home and we'd all, we would have a movie night where we would watch all the movies. And it was just, it, was, it brought families together personally. Agree. I, I think it really did because I mean, now you have DVD, uh, DVDs, uh, oh, you could, you can rewatch this whenever. Like, you know, you could stop a DVD player and, like, not watch the movie for, like, four years, put it back in, and it's a place from the exact point. Yeah, I th- yeah that's crazy. My, that's, my Xbox does that. Yeah. Like, I, I've noticed that on a few of mine. I'm like, wait, I have, like, taken it out, played a game, mm-hmm. and put it back in, and stuff, which is really neat. But... Well, because, you know, with VHS, I mean, you had... I mean, let's all be honest. You never wanted to rewind a VHS. You never wanted... I did. We had a rewinder. And I always loved doing it because it was like super quick and it only took like a couple seconds. That's awesome. Well, plus I was like, I had a ton of, D- of VHSs and I hated when I would go to like watch a movie and it wouldn't be rewound because then I'd have to sit there and wait and by the time it was done rewinding, I didn't want to watch it anymore and I was like, ah, it's something else. But we almost had the same thing. Tui, Eddie, and T would have like friends over and on the weekends and my mom would get like pizza for everybody. And they'd go to video. We'd go to Video World, and like we would have, we could get basically whatever we wanted. Like you, you roll up there, you get like four or five tapes. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And like you know, we got the popcorn, then we got pizza, video games and stuff like that. And these, it was just so much fun. And again, we'd we'd all come home. We'd we'd have like double creature features. We'd watch like two flicks back to back. Um, you know, and it was there was, and you just don't really get that anymore. I mean, you can still scream and stuff, but it's like part of the experience was going and picking out the movies and just like looking at that wall of stuff and you know and just... I, I absolutely love that but the part that I miss the most is watching movies with the entire family like I mean when we would sit there you know we'd sit there on the couch and everything and we'd be you know we'd be passing the popcorn bowl back and forth and I just don't really miss that and I mean you can't really I mean I I guess you can do that nowadays but like it doesn't have the same feel uh that could just be us getting old too that could (laughs) you know I'm I'm thinking about it I'm like you know you can't I'm like jeez maybe it's just us getting old that could be it too it just almost like you know how they say you can't go home like you can't you know ever Mm. go but yeah no it's it's sad that that that's the way it's going which is unfortunate Mm. really is but I mean, hey, you know, that's gym class for you. That is gym class for you. Well well said. And on that, Tumbles, I think we're going to conclude our first podcast, bro. I think it was pretty, Sound good? pretty successful. I thought it was wicked good, man. Thank you so much yeah, for joining. Uh, guys, uh, go out there do good things because nobody else is going to. If everybody did one good thing for somebody else each day, this world would not be such a bad place. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you, if you like what we're doing, there will be more of these. If you don't like what we're doing, there's going to be more of these. Uh, <laughs> Either way, there's more of these. Yeah, so there's more like of these. Uh, yeah, like them, so, so and uh, again, feel free. Uh, it's uh, heftv. Uh, dot podbean. dot com, or check us out on YouTube at uh, youtube. dot com forward slash Lord Hefty, or just type heftv into your search bar, and you're good to go. Oh, this was LFTismo. No, so that's Xbox. Yeah, that's Xbox. Right. Well, anyway, guys, uh, have a good <laughs> one, and we'll see you next week on the podcast. <laughs>